Howdy. How are you going? I wanted to continue the Steven Universe vlogs and talk a little about um, the next two episodes that have come out. Lars of the Stars and Jungle Moon, I think it's called. Yeah, Jungle Moon. And uh, overall, I really like these two episodes. Surprise, surprise. Josh likes a Steven Universe episode. Um, but um, these two episodes were exactly what I wanted to see for Lars. I wanted to see... Um, well, the first episode is mainly more about Lars. The second one's more about uh, Stevani. So in the first episode, basically, uh, uh, they do, both Steven and Carney go back to see Lars by going through his head, and they discover the off-colors, the ones they, uh, that Lars and Steven befriended, are all in this spaceship now, and, uh, and Lars is their captain. It's very Star Trek, sort of, um, and... Lars is very much the sort of their fearless leader, and it's almost fantasy silly. Uh, it is kind of fantasy silly, but at the same time, it, it works. It's just exactly what you wanted to see for Lars. Um, he's bold now, but he still he still shows that very vulnerable side. He still wants to go back and see Sadie, and is still very worried. And like, it's it's really really. They could not have taken Lars's character in a better direction. I'm. So pleased with it. I really do like it. Um, and uh, so that's basically what happens in the first episode. We rediscover Lars um, and what him and the off colors have been up to. I love how they've incorporated the off colors as sort of um, spaceship pilots and commanders and stuff. And the off colors are so likable. Um, the joke of the, uh, the uh, off color that predicts the past. Um, gets a little bit old, and is definitely starting to get a bit old, but apart from that, there's absolutely nothing I could complain about, possibly. Like, I love the direction it goes, it's really interesting seeing Steven, Carney, and Lars, and the off-colors in space together. You know, um, it's kind of standard space battle stuff, but it's, it, it's done, it fits in so well with the gem world, um, the gem universe. So, um, yeah, really like that one. Um, the next episode, which is, we get a few, um, few, uh, surprises, is Jungle Moon. So basically, Stevan, uh, Steven and Carney mold together to become Stevani, mold together, um, I'm sorry, they fuse to become Stevani, and they go down, they get crashed on, uh, on this, uh, mysterious planet, and it's kind of like Earth, it's, like a forest planet, and I really like this because I love forest. I go to Mount Kuther and like my own mountain forests regularly to run and just to be in nature and stuff. I love forest, and I loved games like Metal Gear Solid 3 where you would live off the land and stuff, and yeah, I'm such a big fan of just uh, wildlife and that sort of thing that I really was keen on this one, and I loved seeing Stevani sort of live off the land and shave herself with a sword and decide whether she was going to eat protein or not, but you know, to um, survive, but also didn't want to hurt the animals. All this really cool stuff that is... And what is great is that this is the first episode that is completely Stevani-based, and it's interesting because it's, again, a new concept. I have never seen two people become one person, yet still feel like we're interacting with two people. Because Stevani is one person, yet two, and that's the beautiful thing about Fusion, because you feel like you're seeing two people together. It very much feels like Steven and Carney are there together, yet at the same time it's one person. And a dip, like her voice actor is fantastic, I think it's a her. Um, and that's the thing, is that they leave it quite asexual. Um, it feels like there's a little more Connie than there is Steven, but very much Steven's personality in there. And just seeing Stevani in action and in motion is such a beauty because you say, who is this person? What parts you can see, bits of Carney in there, bits of Steven. It is a work of art, and I love that about Steven Universe. Every episode, every every couple, not every episode, but every set of episodes that normally introduce something interesting and new to me. So she lives off the land, and basically we discover a bit more about Pink Diamond. We just get his face reveal because she sleeps in the temple, or the, the spaceship, or the observatory, something where Yellow Diamond and Pink Diamond were. And Pink Diamond seems like she was a little bit of a brat, um, to be honest. And I don't know, um, Stephen's just able to have these dreams where he'll connect with the... And probably because, you know, he had... I don't know, why, why is that reason again? No, because he's Rose. He's not Pink Diamond. 
Um, yeah, um, Rose murdered Pink Diamond, uh, apparently, we don't know. But uh, yeah, so it's interesting to see, and yeah, so overall, I really love these episodes, these two episodes. Um, just watching, seeing Lars come back into motion, Lars is one of my new favorite characters. He's just, he's really good um, ever since he left Earth. Funnily enough, as soon as he went away from people and into this alien, uh, the alien world, he became far more interesting and better and more redeemable and likable. And I loved seeing Stevani in motion, living in it, off the land in a beautiful habitat. Um, and she does get rescued at the end. She, he, Stevani gets rescued at the end. So yeah, I just wanted to take my time with this and talk about it a bit with you guys. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this, um, these two new episodes, if you've seen them, and what you thought. Personally, I thought they were fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm still really gripped in the series and can't wait to see what they bring. It just saddens me that they might be ending it soon, you know, and that will be a great loss. You know, I, this is one of those series I wouldn't mind going on for a long time because, oh no, I shouldn't say that because then it could get seasonal rot or something, but... Damn, I like it, and damn, I'm gonna miss it when it finishes. But it's not over yet. It's uh, still a way to go yet, and I can't wait to see it. So anyway, um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.